All right, Brian Howard here at BK's Credit Group and bkscreditgroup.com. And in this video, I'm going to talk about business credit cards with no PG. But it's probably not what you thought when you read the title, so uh, you might want to bear with me. Um, this is going to be somewhat of a rant, I guess. You know, I don't like to use the word rant. That's such a that's comes with such a negative connotation. Let's call it more of a reality, right? This is going to be more of a reality video, more than anything about building business credit uh, or getting business credit cards rather I should say with no PG the fact of the matter is is a lot of a lot of uh, business owners or a lot of inspiring business owners I should say meaning people that have not set up their company or not officially in business they're just thinking about going in business and they're already thinking about business credit or they have an LLC on paper and they had it for two or three years but they've never really done anything with it you know Everyone wants to get business credit cards with no PG, right? Everyone wants something, but they don't want to put what's necessary in in order to get it. And so I just beg the question, if it's your business and you believe in your business, why wouldn't you do a PG? I just want you to think about that. You don't want to do a PG, but you want the banks to give you money with no PG when you haven't even demonstrated that you believe in what it is that you know you have going on with your business now i'm not no means saying that you can't get business credit cards with no pg because it's absolutely possible i mean i have about six or seven of them myself uh got another one coming uh well they say in three to five business days i have another i have another card with no pg that that'll be showing so it's absolutely possible even now here in 2018 you know don't trust me don't believe the hype you know you hear people what well, does business credit cards with no pg really exist yes if you can qualify and see that's the key to all of this can you qualify most of you don't have qualifying businesses you don't have your business set up properly you don't have a strong business credit profile with Dun and Bradstreet you don't have a strong business credit profile with Experian you don't have anything reporting with business Equifax your business is not shown to have any type of cash flow you know you don't even know the profits and loss of your business but you want to jump to business credit cards you want so you want a bank to give you a twenty thousand uh, dollar business credit card with no PG and you can't even show them that you have the capacity to pay it back and so my point is is business credit is not for everybody you know I've said this in one of my videos in the past and what I mean by that is every business can absolutely build business credit but too many of you don't have a CFO mentality what you want to do is get a business bank account a LLC a tax ID number and you want to get a card with some money that you can charge up and not pay back that's not what we teach over here at BK's credit group I want to be clear if that's your mindset that's not what we teach if your mindset is you know what I'm gonna get a get an LLC and a tax ID number so I can get a bunch of money and credit that I that I don't have to pay back. That's not what we're doing over here. You know the information, the strategies that I teach are very powerful, and they're here to help grow businesses. That's why you go back and look around. I've been here for a while. This is my fifth year in business. As you see, I'm still here, kicking strong, doing the same thing. We still BKH Credit Group. We still helping businesses build business credit. We still out there repairing um, consumers personal credit. I'm still coaching entrepreneurs and small business owners on how to on how to set their business up. And, and a lot of it is possible because, you know, we've mastered business credit. We now have we have cash flow. Right. We have credit and we have cash flow. Every successful business is going to have credit and cash flow. Now. A lot of now don't get me wrong you may have to use some of your money in the beginning obviously you may have to use use rather some of your money in the beginning and that's fine but you got to adapt the CFO mentality how can I position the business from a financial standpoint from a credit and finance standpoint you know so that includes revenue like how is this business gonna make money you know this business that I'm looking to build business, how am I gonna make money you know how much money do I need to spend this month in order to make X amount of dollars by the end of the month these are all things that you guys have not even considered but you want business credit and you want twenty and thirty thousand dollar credit cards with no PG 
but you don't even have a financial plan written out for your business. Now, am I telling you that you need a business plan in order to get business credit? That's not what I'm saying. But what you do need is a solid strategy to follow, a, a solid set of guidelines and coaching to follow in order to build your business credit profile up. There's only so much that you can do from the YouTube, from the YouTubes and from the Facebooks and different things like that. You know, I give out a lot of information, probably more information than I should. But it's OK, because at the end of the day, I am here to help people. But I also run a business. And so that 10 percent. Right. That 10 percent that want to take it to the next level. And the reason I say 10 percent is because 90 percent of business owners either don't know what business credit is or they don't have it. And so when you start getting into this world of business credit, i.e. corporate credit, now you're in the top 10 percent. You're part of the elite. You know, and I think a lot of you are infatuated with the idea of having business credit as opposed to doing what's actually required in order to build business credit. Does that make sense? I think that if you're really being honest with yourself, you know, a lot of you, and this not everyone, but a lot of you would agree. You know, you you watch my channel, you've been watching my channel, you know, who knows a year two years, you know, you're watching other people's channels, you know, you're in all these different business credit building Facebook groups, but you don't even have one trade line. Why? You're in information overload. You're kicking tires. You're wasting time as opposed to making a commitment. See, that in order to have a CFO mentality, that requires commitment. That requires strategic commitment. You know, that's one of my favorite terms like a strategic commitment. That's a commitment and a work ethic combined with a strategy, a plan, a process. Don't focus on business credit cards with no PG. Focus on setting up your business credibly, setting up a credible, strong business foundation. Focus on building your vendor credit. Focus on generating cash flow and revenue for your business. Focus on marketing and advertising. Focus on operations. Focus on these things in conjunction with building your initial business credit and watch how everything just falls into place. Y'all see that? Y'all are here and you're trying to jump here. And you're skipping all of this. And that's not how it works. All right. So that's my rant for that's my rant for today. That's my rant for today. You guys you need to make a commitment. You don't have to make a commitment to me because it's not my business. It doesn't matter whether you do business with me or not. Right. You know, you don't have to make a commitment to some of the other larger companies out there. You know, it doesn't matter to them one way or the other either. I can promise you that. But if you're serious about your business, then you need to make a strategic commitment. All right. That's my rant for today. This is Brian Howard signing out for BKH Credit Group.